He's going the distance. We're trying to find the length of a line. Y equals 1 plus 6x to the 3 halves from 0 to 1. And it's domain. We're going to use our familiar form for finding the length of a curve, a plane curve. And we need the derivative. So dy dx is the same as f prime of x. And when I do that, I take that derivative, take that and rewind it back. I go ahead, I multiply that 6 by that 3 halves. The 2 fights the 6, becomes a 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and then it's to the 1 half. Then I have the derivative. So I can plug it into my integral, replacing on the integral the limits 0 to 1. And in the integrand, I put my dy dx in place of my y f prime. Bam. Then I do that, make it rain. I clean it up, and that's how I get 81x. What's next? How do we integrate that? U sub in u. Then we got to get our du. That's 81x dx, which gets us our du over 81 is dx. Because we're making that substitution, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I have the square root of u du over 81. Well, let me make it look a little nicer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that 81 outside. And I'm going to write that to u to the 1 half so that we can integrate that because it looks like it's a general power rule. So we add 1 and divide by it. Notice when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and that's why we get that 2 thirds out front. And then that's u to the 3 halves. Let's sub back in now. Boom. Bam. Oh, look at that. So I take my 2. Ah, 81 times 3 is 243. And I put in my red U, 1 plus 81x to the 3 halves. Now it's the fundamental theorem of calculus. Upper minus lower. So what's upper? 1. And what's lower? None. And we clean that up. Notice that's to the 3 halves. So bam, boom, ah. The square root 80, oh, because it's to the 3 halves, 182 comes out, 182 stays inside. When you take 82 and divide it by 2, you get 41, 41 is prime, so we can't reduce that 82. And we're not... Box and flower. And yeah, we checked the back of the book. It's nice.